This might be the hee haw and donkey, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's a fat striper right here, man. All right, you guys already know I'm starting off. Better slow down here. Starting off with the tube and worm. Got a nice juicy sandworm hanging off the end of it. And if you're not familiar, I'll show you what it looks like in the water. It just has that really nice twisty motion where if you sink it down deep and troll it slow by these big bass, they just, they can't resist it. So we're gonna start off with that. See what we mark out here. Maybe there'll be more surface activity like that, but with bigger fish, I don't know. You never know what you're gonna run into out here. You never truly know. I think that's part of the addiction. It's like, today could be the best day of fishing I ever had. Or it could be the worst day of fishing I ever had. It's like, you don't really know. Just hooked up on the tube. I didn't think it was a big fish at first, but now it feels a little heavier. He's definitely pulling me a little. All right. Let's see what we got here, baby. Sorry, I'm still waking up. My commentary is gonna be poopy. Nice morning, man. Nothing like a fish in the morning to wake you up. There he is. That's not a bad bass to start the trip right here, man. Look at this thing. That's not a bad bass to start right there, baby. Look at this, man. Woohoo! Fat boy. Fat boy right here. Ho oh, ho ho. Look at this freaking thing. Oh yeah. It's a good bass to start right here, man. Look at this chunker. Total chunker of a fish. He's not like super long, but my God, is he fat. Covered in lice too. Look at this. We're definitely getting another wave of fish. Here we go, baby. That was about five minutes into this trip. That's why we left these those small fish to find some bigger boys, but we're gonna get some bigger fish than this, but this is a great start. Wasn't really marking that many fish either, so it just goes to show you, you don't necessarily need to be marking piles of fish to hook up, you know? Like sometimes they'll just come in at an angle and smoke it. There he goes. See you later. Good start right there, man. <laughs> I will take that. I'll take that all day. Send this puppy down. We'll continue our troll. There we go. Definitely feels smaller than that last one, for sure. This guy's coming in quick. I think he's a little rat. Rat-a-tat-tat. -tat. Oh, I just dropped him. <laughs> I wasn't keeping him tight enough. I was fighting that fish lazy. Whoops. That's all right. Starting to mark some fish. Nothing crazy, but they're out here, man, and they're chewing. Get this chewed up stuff off. Yeah, starting to mark them a little better. They're like in 30 feet. They're not quite hugging the bottom. They're like kind of mid water column almost. Like 15 to 30 feet. I bet you I'm probably going to hook up here. Here we go. There's a fish. I already see him on the surface. Something small. Something small. Probably like a slot, like the new slot. This is probably between 28 and 31. Yeah, not bad. Not as big as that first one, but an all right striper, I suppose. Hello, buddy. 
very healthy looking fish. What's great about these tubes is you just use them as fish grippers. All you gotta do is grab the tube and you, got, you secure the fish. Another little guy. We're definitely getting a fresh wave of fish. I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but he's got lice all over him. He's got a bunch right here, kind of on his tail fin too. We're definitely getting another fresh wave of fish. I mean, it's still, it's only the beginning of June. So honestly, kind of the best is yet to come in my opinion. I'd say he was ready. I haven't gotten really good marks yet, you know? I'd like to find like just a bunch of fish stacked up that I could maybe jig on. Uh, but for now, I'll stick with the tube. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, but if you know me, I grow tired. Like, if I tube and worm strictly for like three trips in a row, on that fourth trip, I'm like sick of the tube and worm. I gotta do something else. I like to change up methods, you know? Uh, keep things interesting. I do get bored after a while if I do the same thing over and over and over again, but you know, season's still young. I haven't tubed too much yet, so I'll stick with this for now. Plus it's, uh, well, that's bottom. It's one thing you need to be wary of, dropping the tube. I might have seaweed on this now. Might as well check. Yeah, a little bit, but I don't know. I always wondered, like, is this amount of seaweed too much for a striper to hit? Just like a little tiny blob like that? Who knows? But anyways, let's send her back down. Marking a few decent marks here. Boom, 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 boom. I don't think they're total cows, but definitely marking fish. Just missed a good bump on camera. Ah, keep missing hits. There we go. I'm on. Turn the motor off. Sometimes I forget to do that. All right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. I think this fish has got a little chunk to her. Oh yeah. I think this is similar to the first fish I hooked up with. I'm gonna ballpark her like mid to upper 30 inch class. Just based on how she's pulling and how heavy she feels. Come on in. Oh, I saw it for a second. Did not like seeing the kayak. Ah, oh, he's taking me on a weird angle. Come on, buddy. Yeah, there he is. Kind of as I predicted, like, looks to be like a mid 30 inch fish, I would say. Oh. Got a second wind to him when he saw the kayak. Yeah, it's not a bad fish, man. It might be, uh,. Curious what that's at, lengthwise. Yeah, this tube got him right in the side of the mouth. Easy, bud. Move this for a sec. Ow. Here he is, man, another decent fish, I would say in the 30 inch class for sure. More lice, healthy, beautiful striper. Got him back in. Not a total cow, but ain't no schoolie neither. I'm looking for that big cow though. I want a 40 plus inch fish today. Oh. She was ready. All right, man, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's sticking with the tube. It's gonna be a tube trip. So if you're sick of watching me troll a tube and worm, <laughs> now, now might be a good time to change the channel. That wasn't a bad fish right there, but I'm definitely looking for that big old hee haw donkey. You know, the kind of fish where you take it out of the water and they go Aww. So let's see if, uh, if we can find that fish. Shit. Oh, oh, I just caught, dude, I got caught lacking again. I put my rod in my rod holder and I went to check my phone. I was just like shot down quick. Ah. Here we go. I'm on.
decent little run right there, but I don't think it's a monster. Holy crap, it's already right here. Oh, that was just another fish on the surface. That wasn't my fish, that was another fish. Holy shysta. It's fishy today. This isn't that hee haw and donkey I'm looking for. I did not like seeing the boat. Came in easy, then he went down. Come on up. Come on up. Ooh. What do we got? Yeah, smaller. I mean, not a bad striper, but... Ah, dude, they're all pretty thick. These are just like all thick stripers in like the mid 30 inch class. It's really not a bad day at all out. Yeah, that one's a little bigger than I thought. What's up, buddy? That ain't a bad fish right there, man. I know. I kind of want to bump board him just for the hell of it. See what he's at, like exactly. Why not, huh? So this is a 36 inch board. Oh, easy buddy. Look how easy that comes out. Definitely got to be careful with the tube. You can, there's potential to drop fish. That's his tail. Yeah, so that's, like I've been saying there, if I pinch his tail, his tail's hitting. Yeah, he's over 36 inches, so he's probably like 37, maybe 38 inch bass right here. I've been getting a lot of fish of that size today. Just like the upper 30 inch class. Look at all the lice, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. It's like pointless counting. There's just so many, so much lice on this guy. Nice, healthy fish. There he goes. Come on, feels like a better fish. This might be the one. I missed the first run because I always miss the first run like an idiot. This might be the hee haw and donkey, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Fudge. That's what happens, dude. These tubes are so. Ah, oh, you let pressure off them for one freaking second in that. Freaking hook just pops right out. Oh, that was my fault. I just, I thought that fish dumb. I just dropped a pretty decent fish. So I brought my tube back in. You can see my hook actually is a little bent out. So that could be a reason why the fish popped off. I mean, there was a slight moment where that fish stopped taking drag. Um, where I should have reeled in a crank and that slight loss of tension in the line is all it takes for this tube to pop. Like you need to keep these fish tight when you have them hooked with the tube. You've seen when I get them to the kayak, the hook just pops right out. Like if you lose any tension on the line, you're gonna lose the fish with the tube. So I'll show you a comparison. You can see that, uh, yeah, that fish bent my hook out a little bit. Son of a bitch. That's all right. Well, <laughs> ah, in true Johnny fashion, I wasn't filming when uh, this fish hit, but I think I finally got my biggest fish of the trip. Give you a view on the lap. <laughs> That's a fat striper right here, man. That is a big fish, probably approaching 40 inch class, I would say. So it's been a really good bite out here today. The hoagie tubes are just killing it. I'm sorry I didn't get the fight on camera. Honestly, he didn't take any screaming runs, but uh, that's what I'm talking about right here, baby. Just hooked up. Right as I was about to call it. This thing is tiny compared to that last fish. I gotta turn my motor off, but I am scared to lose tension on the fish. All right, I was able to do it. <clears throat> oh, I don't know, he feels a little heavier now. He might have just swam in at me really fast. Because he does not want to come up. He's glued right now. <clears throat> 
least glued down there. <sighs> oh man. All right, this fish might have grew a little bit. It's weird, he, he hit it and just swam in at me, so I just thought it was a small fish. <laughs> but now he's freaking glued, bro. I can't get him up. Come on, oh man. Where is he at, bro? <laughs> oh, my arms are officially tired, man. Caught a lot of fish today on the tube. It's been a fun day. Let's try have one seen color. There he is. Yeah, it's another decent one right there. Not quite as big as the last one, but dude, I'll take that. Oh man, look at that. That was a weird fight, man. He uh, he swam in at me really fast and then uh, just really held down to the bottom. Man, I think this is like my sixth or seventh fish on the tube, to be honest. Look at this guy, fat. All fat fish. That's gonna do it for me, man. This is my last fish. I gotta hit the road. But a great day out here. Great day, so thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate everybody who watches and comments and all that good stuff. I bet you if I let him go, he's gonna kick off. Yep. There he goes.